Well, greetings, friends. Today I'd like to talk with you about the contemplative spiritual discipline of practicing the presence of God. I'd like to begin by reading from Cloud Devotion. Uh, I'm going to be reading from May 14th, and here's what the author writes. Make every effort now, while you are able, to press upward into the majestic cloud of unknowing. Once within this cloud, you will find rest for your soul. In the beginning, it takes real effort on your part, an intense labor of your soul. Every day, receive God's grace and your spiritual strength will grow and grow. Over time, through weeks and years of practicing being in God's presence, you'll begin to experience God's grace more and more in the everyday places of your soul. Think of this as everyday grace because Jesus loves to meet you and work with you every day, refreshing your soul. So this author from the 1300s, he strongly encourages us as readers to practice being in God's presence. And the phrase practicing the presence of God uh, comes from a, uh, is a, most often associated with a, a brother Lawrence who uh, lived in the 1600s. In fact, he was born in 1616 in the eastern region of France known as Lo the Lorraine region. He was born Nicholas Herman, and he died in 1691 in Paris. Um, his faith conversion came by looking at a tree in winter and seeing no signs of life, yet confident that spring would come with new life to the tree, just as he realized new life would well up within him in Jesus and God's grace would spring up within him. He was injured while serving in the military and thus as a crippled man, he entered into a monastery in Paris to work in a dish room. And uh, followers of Jesus and readers in the centuries since uh, remember him for his uh, beloved book. I have an edition of it here put out by uh, uh, Paraclete Press, the same exact company that published Cloud Devotion, a lovely company from Cape Cod, by the way. Give a shout out to Paraclete Press and their marvelous line of books that they published. This is um, in their um, Paraclete Essentials line of books where they publish classic works. And this is certainly one of the favorite spiritual classics of all time. Uh, it was compiled after his death. His writings were gathered and people who remembered Brother Lawrence and had written down conversations about him or had received letters from him, uh, they gathered all those up and this book was published after his death and it remains in print and uh, widely read today. Um, Brother Lawrence encourages us to practice the presence of God, encouraging us to turn our hearts toward God throughout the day, many times a day, as often as we remember, and to do all things for the love of God. His wisdom was simple and gracious, down to earth, humble, and um, a couple of my favorite Brother Lawrence quotes I have listed here on my uh, weekly pastor blog. You can find it at waterpaths.org and go to Cannon Beach Log and you can find a whole series I've been doing on contemplative spiritual disciplines. Here's a couple of my favorite Brother Lawrence quotes and I'm just going to read them in order. We should establish ourselves in a sense of God's presence by continually conversing with him. We should feed and nourish our souls with high notions of God, which would yield us great joy in being devoted to God. Do everything for the love of God with all prayer on all occasions, asking for God's grace to work well. Do little things for the love of God. Arrive at the union with God by love. Our only business is to love and delight ourselves in God. Address yourself to God every moment. Do not be weary of doing little things for the love of God, for God regards not the greatness of the work, but the love with which it is performed. In the end, we ought to propose to ourselves to become in this life the most perfect worshipers of God we can possibly be, as we hope to be throughout all eternity. The time of business, and his business was washing dishes. The time of business does not differ with me from times of prayer. In the noise and clutter for different things, I possess God in as great tranquility as if I were on my knees before the Blessed Sacrament. 
In the height of my business, I drove away from my mind everything that was capable of interrupting my thought of God. The spiritual life is a life of grace. Brother Lawrence also said, I would not take up a straw from the ground. We'd say a, a, a piece of trash, a, uh, some litter. I would not pick up a piece of litter from the ground from any other motive but purely that of the love of God. A little lifting of the heart suffices, a little remembrance of God, one act of inward worship. Though we're out for a walk, our prayers, which however short, are nevertheless very acceptable to God. I love this quote too. It comes from the fourth letter. Uh, God is nearer to us than we are aware of. It is not necessary for being with God to always be at church. We may make a prayer chapel of our heart wherein to retire from time to time to converse with him in meekness, humility, and love. He also said, don't go faster than grace. One does not become holy all at once. Offer to him your pains incessantly. Pray to him for strength to endure them. Get a habit of entertaining yourself often with God. Adore him in your infirmities. Sometimes God permits bodily diseases to cure the distempers of the soul. God loves us infinitely more than we can imagine. Love him then and make your heart a spiritual temple wherein to adore God incessantly. The presence of God is thus the life and nourishment of the soul. Those are some of my favorite quotations from Brother Lawrence, who is the author of a great spiritual classic called The Practice of the Presence of God, a practice that was practiced by the author of The Cloud of Unknowing many hundreds of years ago, and I commend it to you today. May God continue to refresh your soul and draw you near to him in this day, in this time. Amen. Thanks for listening in.